In this lesson, we're going to look some, at some more translation problems, um, but we'll also make sure that when we're finished that we have a simplified expression. So if there's any simplifying that can be done, uh, we'll do that. So we have translate 5 less than the product of 3 and the sum of a number in 2 into an algebraic expression. So kind of a mouthful there. So let's start by writing all the numbers written as words as numerals. And then any other simplifications we can make in language, we'll do that as well to try to wrap our brain around this. All right, so five less than, right? We know less than means subtracted from. So I'll go ahead and make that even more explicit. The product of three, okay? So the product of, right? Product of I know means time. So Okay, so three times something. Well, what are we taking three times? Well, three times the sum of a number and two. So remember, whenever we're, we're gonna say three times and then what comes after it is a set of instructions like take the sum of or the difference of, that's when we have to put these in parentheses. So the sum of a number and two needs to go in parentheses. So x plus two. So you can see we've already bro broken this down quite a bit. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this word time. So it's now just five subtracted from three times x plus two. And then we know that when we have five subtracted from something, we need to switch the order. So the three times x plus two comes first and then, oops, started to write a plus sign, then minus five. Okay, so this is uh, our, our English sentence correctly translated into an algebraic expression, but what we can see here is that we have a couple of like terms, so we wanna be able to combine those. So over here, let's, let's go ahead and simplify this. And make a little dividing line here. So, we know the first step in simplifying is, of course, to use the distributive property in this problem. So 3 times x, 3 times 2, so 3x plus 6 minus 5, and of course 6 minus 5 is 1. So the simplified expression after being translated is 3x plus 1. In the next example, it says translate 40 minus the sum of a number in 15 into an algebraic expression. All right, so 40, well, 40 minus, and again, the sum of. So we have a set of instructions here. So 40 minus, so in parentheses, we're going to put a number plus 15. And whenever you see the word minus, that just means that we're going to keep the same order. So this is 40 minus x plus 15. And remember that now when we want to simplify this, taking minus parentheses is the same thing as putting a negative one outside, or putting a one right here and thinking of this as negative one. And so then I can distribute through to both of these terms. And we have 40, negative one times x is negative x, so they'll put minus x. Negative 1 times 15 is negative 15, so minus 15. And then, of course, 40 minus 15 is 25, so we have 25 minus x as our simplified answer.